I'm Greg Nibbler, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, Facebook announces plans to make its news feed less mysterious. The U.S. government considers making it a felony to stream copyrighted content on the internet. And NASA invents a way to let you explore Mars without leaving your seat. Facebook users have a long tradition of freaking out whenever the social network makes changes to newsfeed, the website's central hub that is used by 700 million people every day. So to help ease the pain, Facebook announced on Tuesday that it will begin detailing why company designers and engineers make specific changes to the newsfeed on the Facebook business blog. According to Chris Cox, Facebook's vice president of products, the company hopes an increase in transparency about its design decisions will help users see how their needs are taken into consideration, and advertisers will better understand who sees their ads and why. As for actual changes to the newsfeed, Facebook announced that it would begin to surface older stories posted by your friends that you may have missed the first time around. The contentious Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA, is long dead, but a controversial component of the bill may soon make a comeback in Washington. A report released last week by the Department of Commerce's Internet Policy Task Force recommends that lawmakers make the illegal streaming of copyrighted content over the internet a felony. At the moment, supplying an online stream of copyrighted content that you don't own, such as professional sports games or Hollywood movies, is only a misdemeanor. Critics have argued that increasing the severity of illegally streaming content on the web would turn musicians who post cover songs on YouTube into felons. Proponents argue it is the best way to put a stop to rampant copyright infringement online. Want to take a trip to Mars? Of course you do! And now, thanks to NASA and the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset, you can do just that all without leaving Earth. Using imagery captured by the Mars rover Curiosity and satellites, NASA's JPL team was able to recreate what it would be like to walk on the surface of the red planet. By combining those images with the Oculus Rift, users are able to immerse themselves in a fully three-dimensional recreation of Mars. The team says that the current design is just the beginning, and it plans to add many more sensors to make the experience even more realistic. So if you're not able to afford one of those expensive space tourism tickets, this might be the next best thing. That's it for DT Daily today. We'll see you tomorrow.